Hi Anthony, a little video for you here. Um, apologies for Shaky Hands Productions, but I just thought you should see this. So, I've put a new advanced and retired pipe on your car between your distributor down there and what is called a manifold source. This gives maximum vacuum at idle. It's right for the MGB of this year and such. But I just want to show you what the ignition timing is now with manifold vacuum attached and disconnected. When you disconnect it, it should drop by, oh, maybe 25, maybe 30 degrees of ignition timing. So, first of all, here's my strobe. You can see on there, we're doing about 1100 RPM, and that's the voltage of my standby battery at the side. And when we look down at your ignition pulley, you'll see the little white marker I've created on the cam case cover, and right at the bottom left of the pulley, is the actual top dead center marker on your pulley and that's with zero added here so when I press function you see the zero the double zero to the left hand side nothing added down there again so when I add degrees on here as such it brings the white marker you'll see it coming up all the way up until it's level with a top dead sensor indicator as near as damn it and we have 60 degrees that's massive so now I'm going to disconnect the advanced and retard unit so just bear with me a second Okay, that's advanced and retard disconnected now. You can see over there. And okay, we've got a modest change at the pulley. What I'll do is I'll bring it down to line up the white dots again. And we're on 40 degrees. And you'll also notice there's an amount what I call spark scatter and that's when it's appearing on the pulley further down as well as the top position. Yeah, you got that. But generally, it's on 40 degrees before top dead centre at idle. It's about 28 degrees out of where it should be. Let's just hope there's no damage done. 